that is the dash all marked out. There we go. That is all of our connections made. You can see there's our blue sea systems, our switch panel. What's happening crew? It's Captain Joe here with Island Marine Charters. We are back in the shop. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, um, lots of cool stuff going on. I'm gonna show you guys a little brief recap. You know, this has been a multi-year project, but last week, our last episode, we actually pretty much buttoned up all the rigging. We got all the bilge pumps and live well pumps and hoses connected. We also gel coated and non-skidded our hatches back here for our fish box. We installed the Gem Lux hinges and pulls. And I did have a couple of folks wanted to know how the install went. Basically, we did lock nuts. Those are not screwed. And then we use the adjustable latch on this to get a nice, nice seal. I think they turned out really, really nice. But we have moved forward, super exciting. So we've kind of buttoned up all the stuff in the back end as far as the pumps and connections back there. And we have moved up into the console. Now it's true, we had done a little previous and I had shown a sneak peek of some of the wiring and the battery arrangement but we have also gotten our washdown pump installed and we are actively working on wiring and rigging the boat okay so we're going to do something a little different that is some heat shrink terminal y'all that is our heat shrink tape rather that's gonna shrink down over that i'm gonna cut a length about three quarters of an inch long or so we're gonna do something a little different than what I've seen done for a lot of folks before, then we're gonna cut a length about an inch and a half or so. Okay, very good. So y'all check this out. See right here, we got that kind of ugliness and there's kind of a discrepancy in the, the materials there. I'm gonna go to my heat gun. I'm not gonna use the torch. I'm just gonna hold on one side it's going to start to shrink and I'm going to rotate it. Very good. All right. So some folks may say that's enough, right? You can see the little squeeze out. There's some adhesive. That's what you want. But we are going one more step. Going for a two phase heat shrink. We'll start in the middle and kind of work your way out. Look at that, folks. You can see the glue, the adhesive. That's a watertight seal. That's why we cleaned that wire with some acetone. And look how nice and meaty that is. All right, crew, the time has come for the big reveal. I know everybody was kind of wondering what electronics we're going to go with. That was a big decision for me. And there we go y'all no surprise probably to some of you folks but we did go with uh that is the garmin gps map 8612 xsv with the big that's the gt51m the transom mount that's got the down view the side imaging now this is a cool little tidbit though here a lot of people do not know this is even available but is a remote input device the big garments here are all touchscreen, but you can add this alongside in parallel and it gives you the ability to have a push button feature in the event the weather is bad your hands are wet and slimy went with the fusion that's kind of a mid-level midline that's a two zone and then a pair of the 7.7 fusion the xs series speakers so i am super excited y'all there's a lot of really good products out there like i said simrad simrad raytheon uh i've been running garments for like 10 years They've been exceptionally good to me. Um, I already know the format. Our local supplier felt very comfortable with them. A lot of my captain buddies that run boats professionally on the water all the time. The garments just seem to have a really good reliability rating. Also really good customer support and service. If you have a problem, they'll take care of you. They'll answer the phone. They're easy to get hold of. That might've been one of the issues with a couple of other companies, maybe a little less, uh, just not as good on the customer support side was kind of one of the deciding factors. So there we go guys, that is the dash all marked out for our Garmin display units. There's actually the receiver that we're gonna be using. So what I've done is we found a center line 
down the console and then I actually just measured out the actual cutout and then the actual outer profile. So you can see that line is gonna be the actual outer, that is the actual cutout. And for these particular units, you're gonna be looking at seven and three eighths inches vertically and 11 and nine sixteenths horizontally. And then here's the little G20 unit that a lot of people do not even know about that Garmin makes, but it's gonna sit right here and allows you to have keypad function even if your hands are wet or it's super cold because we're operating all kind of environments and I've talked to some folks didn't even know that Garmin offered that so I thought it was pretty cool and uh, again what we've done is we tried to lay out everything symmetrically center line we kind of positioned everything and then the stereo is right in line with the gauges and we're gonna leave this space open in the future if we need to install anything there but we're moving back down um, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning to cut that. Now guys, if y'all are doing boat and fiberglass work, you hate to like grind fiberglass or cut a bunch of fiberglass early in the morning. It's better to do it later in the afternoon. Or if it's gonna create a lot of dust where you're trying to work, you wanna do it strategically. So I still got some work in the console to button up some wiring. So I wanna show you guys, Logan's gonna hold the camera here for me. And what we're using, is um, a marine grade and you want to be sure anytime we're doing marine grade stuff it's marine specific wire it is not the same as automotive and what we're doing is um we've ran this in its natural state with the jacket on it and i'm just very carefully you're going to split that with the razor knife and open these up and we're going to leave part of that exposed now what i've done everybody is i went ahead and split this up to the designated mark i had laid all this stuff out matter of fact logan showed them that little piece of blue tape that's what I had done earlier. I had measured this one with some blue tape, but it leaves kind of a ragged, oh, kind of an ugly transition. I don't love the way it looks. And I found what you can do. I went ahead and pre-cut uh, with scissors, a little piece of heat shrink tubing. This stuff is amazing. It really does a good job at protecting terminals and whatnot, but it also works really, really good for cleaning up these ends. now. You gotta be careful, this heat gun is seriously hot. I just work outdoors all the time and my hands are pretty pretty tolerant. But what I'm doing, and I'm gonna heat shrink that down. And what a cool transition that makes. You gotta admit, that just looks a lot neater. And I've kind of buttoned up a lot of our preliminary wiring you can see there's our blue c systems our switch panel basically you got grounds up here you got power coming out there that's your main power feed we got a ground bus and you can see our switches the back side that's our salt water wash down pump and we still got some stuff hanging loose and whatnot uh, but we've got all of our main power leads running up here our switch panel blue c switch system switch panel is on the back side there. It's been a minute doing all this. There's quite a bit of work here. I'm actually gonna swivel around and show you guys the battery bank in a little more detail. Um, we got basically our uh, port battery and then our trolling motor bank. That's a 36 volt and then our starboard battery. You can see our onboard, that's our digital charger. But I wanted to show you guys something that's um, been really helpful and useful that is dielectric grease um, if you've never used that it's a great product for uh, kind of helping protect and seal all the connections so i've actually spent about the last hour taking all the connections loose and uh, just i actually just put a little bit on my fingers and just a very light film or coating on all the the terminals and connections everywhere where a terminal connects to a post. I even put a tiny bit like on all of these little, these little connections right there. What it does is it kind of seals and protects that uh, electrical connection from moisture and it helps inhibit corrosion and whatnot. There we go. That is all of our connections made. These are our feeds in from our accessories. We got a bilge pump, bilge pump, Live well, live well, another live well, and a wash down. And pretty exciting. You can 
right here, that's the salt water wash down. We've got power there. You can hear those pumps running. So very exciting. We have accessories working. Uh, we are moving right on now to our layout here on the dash. We've got our 12 inch Garmin displays and our remote, our little G20 remote for them as well. Yep, there she is, crew. Got the Garmin 12 inch display in place, got the other holes cut out. Y'all saw us do that last night. And what I usually try to do is cut these a little on the small side and then use something like a, a flat file. You can see there's some burrs and whatnot there and you can come in there and just very care carefully shape that out. Also 3M makes these really cool little foam blocks that you can just put a, a disc adhesive. And for these bigger spaces, that works really good for opening up those corners. Sometimes you need a carbide burr. And I wanted to show y'all again, the tool we use. That is a carbide abrasive on this fine. That's an FMM250Q, I believe. That's what that says. That is a very, very handy little tool. Uh, they make a number of oscillating tools. Fine isn't the only one. I think Bosch and a few others make them. And the uh, parts for those, the little blades, this is a different style, obviously, but you can see it interchanges. Um, so that is a big deal, y'all. We made some good progress. Got a pretty good bit of wiring done. If you guys have any questions about wiring or why or what we did or how we did, and sometimes we may make some adjustments, but um, I think for this episode, that is going to be about it. You guys are going to have to hang tight. In this next episode, we'll actually get all the electronics powered up and we'll show you guys what everything looks like. That might even be a water test. I don't know. But you guys know how much I appreciate you guys. The channel has been growing. It's because of you guys. If you got some friends or family that might enjoy this kind of content, please feel free to like, share, uh, comment, all that good stuff. I will respond to your comments personally if it's a question I can answer. So y'all, it's Captain Joe here with Island Marine Charters down in Gulf Shores, Alabama and Fish Bump TV here on YouTube. And we will catch you guys next time out.